वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज माई थर्ड वीडियो ऑन मैटलैब बेसिक्स आई हैव ऑलरेडी एडेड टू वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑन हाउ टू यूज मैटलैब ऑनलाइन एंड सेकेंड गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विथ मैटलैब सिमिलिंग नाउ दिस वीडियो आई हैव रिकॉर्डिंग रिगार्डिंग द मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन बेसिक्स ऑफ मैटलैब सिमिलिंग सो लेट्स गेट इन टू द सिमिलिंग मॉडल सो as like in uh, earlier lecture also i have shown that through this simulating tab you can move towards a direct start simulation window or you can go in new and you can start a simulating model so in both the cases it will prompt a new window to you like this so if you are not going for any specific uh, design and if you are designing any uh, blank model so we can start with this blank model where we can say create model and it will generate a blank system otherwise it will be related to some specific toolboxes so this is our blank simulation window or simulink window i will say in this simulink window we have library browser a new simulation file we can open few simulation files slx files through any other domain so it's not like you can uh, use the already created files only in installed version in online version also you can open this file if you are not able to open through this tab in the earlier tab where you have upload word there you can upload the email, slx file and it will be opened up in simulink window so that is your second tab in the third tab we have library browser when you click on library browser you will get a library prompt window library stands for all database of all the equipments and where actually we can simulate use this particular products from uh, the library such as simulink so commonly used blocks where we use these blocks very frequently in any simulation so like scope and all so we will go through these each and every block the in detail how to use them and then you can enhance your enthusiasm or your interest by using other components also then we have some analysis part prepare part so we can have some signal tables and we will see this how to use this particular things but these are uh, can these cannot be covered in basics introduction then we have stop time so this is very important this stop time so this actually justifies for how much time you are going to simulate your simulink means if you put this time as 1 second so always this is in second so if you put this time in 1 second you will not be able to here we this stop time justifies that if you put 1 second then the simulation will be carried towards 1 second obviously this stop time this value will be put in seconds it can't be means this 10 justifies 10 second so your time scope or time domain column will have 0 to 10 values uh, with the proper incrementation so this can be identified when we are simulating any particular circuit step back justifies one point before the simulation step forward justifies one point after simulation and this run can be clicked on this run tab will be activated when we have some blocks here so let's try to add any blocks so let's add bus creator here and see all these tabs will be turned on so when we click on this it will run this particular model which we have created for that particular second if you want to have a simulation from let's say 3 second to 10 second that cannot be adjusted from this stop time whereas you need to provide a switch to the time axis or clock pulse and that can be done but here you can have a continuous time simulation from 0 to any time value then others we have some uh, analysis part block blocks where we can have uh, different views of the scope and sub data inspectors and all let's go to in debug model 
in debug model you have some better parameters regarding the simulation like how your model is going to be simulated such that in modeling you will get this model setting so this is very important tab where you actually can set your step time or your start time so here you can say simulation time from one second to ten second that's what i was talking about also you can change from a uh, constant step to variable step you can change the solver details here so in solver means in mod you need to go to model setting in model setting solver in solver details you will you can select this particular solvers so you can select any of them so these are actually uh, types of methods which matlab adopts uh, for analysis point of view what matlab does at the background side it actually calculates each and every value for the analysis so you need to understand that how it calculates so uh, these are auto automatic solver some continuous states then you can see some other uh, bogaki champagne solver so these all uh, solvers you need not require to understand but you need to an uh, observe that which solver suits better for your simulation This is regarding database like every calculation of MATLAB is justified either in number of time or in number of samples like a discrete and continuous analysis. So states justifies your output values or sorry sample values and time justifies your continuous values. So this T out selected justifying that all the simulations will be conducted on the basis of time. Okay, now let's move towards the addition of some blocks and we need to understand how these buses are created or blocks can be used. So let's try to have some one constant blocks and let's have some gain. So gain is nothing but a multiplier which will enhance the or degrade the values. Then we have some product block. We will need one scope to see what these parameters actually do. So, by simply bringing your cursor to near to the output code, you can actually connect these particular things. So, drag that particular output arrow and you can actually click on the thing so this will now get simulated so in this part now let's understand what actually is done we are simulating for 10 seconds the constant value of one is generated so this block will give a constant one every time and one will be multiplied throughout this constant wave so what we expect a one constant line at one so let's see what scopes show so we have this one circle here let's change this value 1 to 10 so we change this value 10 so ultimately it will show that 10 block the circle at 10 so accordingly this will give a constant value at one instant we can get some step input so this way also you can search on uh, matlab library browser but make sure that you are putting a correct name nomenclature
let's try and connect this step input to the gain. See now what is the value put in the step bar. So its step time is one. So at one second it will trigger on. Final value is one. So let's change this to two or let's say 12. So we expect that from zero to one, it will be zero. And after, after one, it is changing out to a V at 12. So now here we can see for the change in simulation parameters. So this way we have a zero value here and then at one it is changing to 12. We can change that 10 step value to two also. So whenever you want an input, you can change this step value. Let's say change this to three. So, okay. So now we will have from zero to three, zero output. And then from three, we will have 12. So likewise. Now this is bus creator. So if you want to see multiple things, like let's say we multiply this step value by any constant number. So let's multiply step value by 10 and then see its multiplication. So now what we are doing here, a step value which was directly given to this scope and another step value, the same step value is now multiplied by 10 and now this we, this we will connect to the bus creator. So bus creator will overlap two signals and show us in only one scope. So if you want to compare any signal like for pulses or uh, sinusoidal SPWM techniques. So there this can be helpful. So see here, this is your multiplied signal by 10 and this is the non-multiplied signal. Let's say we increase gain for this particular block. By 5. So this is your multiplied signal at 5. And multiplied by 10. So this is the use of bus creator. Similar way in next video we will be watching other aspects of the scope and bus selectors and mux. Thank you for watching video.